Ben, what does grim sound like? <laughs> yeah, I can do like two voices. So a lot of it's the dialect sounds very similar in these parts of the town. He's all like, <laughs> <laughs> Ah, you, you lousy adventurers. You lousy adventurers in my inn. Always in here. Never paying your tab. Is he from Brooklyn? Is that, what, is that where he's from? <laughs> but Brooklyn, the bar. other capital city of yeah. the Shire, of the yeah. Sword Coast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You lazy! Why didn't you go adventure yourself some money? Ha! <laughs> Folks with spears. Can I just? Oh no, 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 no. Um, no. What do they sound like? What do the guards well, sound just like? Just gonna say there was a. Ch- if you got knocked into the border, yeah. you were gonna meet a crocodile and had a great voice for the crocodile. Well, just so as as <laughs> and let it go. This is Dungeons and Dragons. No, 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 no. And no. <laughs> As you as you um as you cross the bridge, a crocodile puts its head up and goes nuts, and then goes back down again. <laughs> I just feel like you only have you said yourself you only have two voices, and you've wasted one of them <laughs> on a crocodile saying nuts. <laughs> Would a guard be able to tell the difference? Do you think? Uh, it really depends on what kind of guard. Like a like a regular guard. So it's probably a guard with like non-specific English accent. <laughs> <laughs> well <Yeah>. done. <laughs> yes. I am so terribly sorry to interrupt. What must be a fine, fine cult evening? You didn't want British. It's all I can do. <laughs> I didn't want. Hi there, British. Morgan Freeman in the Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> Please, my father is Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Then who are you? You met me just before. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. Ah, uh, Kenneth Branagh from the movie The Wild Wild West. Yes, sir. I hate this so much. <laughs> you remind me of a friend I have back home. His name is Year 8 Boy's Impression of Tennessee Williams. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a character that has been in the show before, but I didn't play. Oh, sorry. Yeah, this is, of course, Albus Rumsfeld, head of the Shipwrights Guild. So, so I don't know what his voice is, but... Is it Snagglepuss? <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that Steen of the Bear Pack played it as Snagglepuss, but something could have happened in the last two days. Maybe he went to some improv classes. Yeah, and he goes, Joinks! <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be around for a while. <laughs> this is the big finale. <laughs> okay. We... No, 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 we committed. You're Snagglepuss. <laughs> You edit the podcasts, you know what he sounds like. I forgot! Yeah, Ben has this d- disability where every voice he hears is Snugglepuss. Finds its voice. <laughs> <laughs> this is the voice you haven't had a chance to do this whole time. Oh, I hope it's voiced by Eddie Murphy like in Mulan. Ahem, ahem. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I actually completely forgot this thing had a voice. Oh uh, yeah, the, the Gabu Strath. The tank is dry. And it goes, oh, hello. <laughs> it goes, uh, excuse me, thank you very much. For it's challenge rating 29, man. <laughs> for getting that collar off my neck. Is this a very fat dragon? <laughs> <laughs> it's feeling increasingly so. Oh. <laughs> now, typically, <laughs> uh, is this not what you... No, keep going, <laughs> you, you're nailing it. Typically, I would of course lay waste to all of you, but given that you got the collar off and killed the nasty man... <laughs> And I'm inclined to let you it's, live. It wasn't a southern gentleman when it started <laughs> talking. I can tell multitudes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what that's what that is. That's what that sound is. <laughs> Eat <laughs> shit, Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> <laughs> But why, the, why is this such a cosmopolitan city with so many different accents, Eden? Why not? I guess what we're used to is like four different types of North English accents. Yeah. And so. Snagglepuss. <laughs> Dong, a deep silence fills the room and that figure says, played by Ben Jenkins... Like, nuts! <laughs> <laughs> 
Don't you dare! You cannot make another character Snagglepuss. He's, he's, I have worked. No! 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 Sorry. He's, he's really upset. Been... No! No! It. Stop it! Stop it! You have been. You have been in New York. You have been in New York, and I have spent four episodes trying to have a little bit of dignity in a gothic Ravenloft-inspired campaign, creating the character of Strahd, and you're, you gallivant in here, and you cannot make him sound like Snagglepuss. <laughs> For fuck's sake! It's just that the audience were chanting Snagglepuss, yeah. so... The only problem with that is they were sna- chant- chanting Snagglepuss. <laughs> I, I actually can't, I can't, this person's probably been around for a while and I can't sustain it, but he, maybe he'll slip into it every now and again. <laughs> maybe when he's casting spells. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so he sounds like, he's like... He's, he's a Dracula, right? <laughs> <laughs> we just say vampire. Yeah, we just say vampire. But it's like, it's say- like pasta boy for us. <laughs> Well, why, 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 why wouldn't he sound like Spaghetti a boy. Spaghetti Let's boy. Let's just find out. Okay. He says, ah, fine. <laughs> D- Dave, it wasn't going to be good no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what did you expect? Just be thankful it's not snaggle for us, because I could commit to the bit. Can you do Huckleberry Hound? Ooh, Top Cat. Ooh, what about Troopy? He could be like, well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> Who is she that you speak of? Mad Moira. The hug. This is getting annoying for me. I know. (laughs) And yet, uh, you're going to have to stick with it because we all lie in the beds of our own making. (laughs) We're the chain I forged in life. Okay. Yes, of course, but I can not see Strahd. You can what? (laughs) I did, I could. Oh, fuck me. This is like, you know when like you get caught smoking and... <laughs> Maybe you smoke a whole pack of yeah, cigarettes. Yeah, your dad's like, no, 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 we're going to sit here and you're going to smoke a carton of cigarettes. That's exactly what, what Dave has done to me with this voice. Have you learned a lesson? Keep Not at all. going. <laughs> Dave has done this to you? <laughs> a figure that you have seen but once before um, with a dark and arist- aristocratic frame dressed in Barovian silks, rings, and finery, with a voice smooth and honeyed, yet with an edge like a burnished steel. A new voice, a voice we have not heard. A, a <laughs> voice that is perhaps fearsome, foreboding, and you know, like what Dave asked for. And as that figure coalesces, it snaps and turns towards you. And he says, slightly different angle on this one, he goes, G'day cunts, welcome to me castle! (laughs) (laughs) Oh yeah! Here you find yourself in my fucking castle, it's haunted as shit, mate! There we are, is, is nice. This, is this Chopper Reed? It's not dissimilar. <laughs> Be thankful it's nice. No, it's not quite Chopper Reed. <laughs> it's, more, it's more Australian comedian Heath Ledger playing Chopper Reed. Look, it's by way of that. I, do you want it to be worse? It this says, is, it this says, is legible. It says here a smooth voice. Can you make that same voice yep, smoother? Okay, ready? Put some Brian Brown on it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, g'day, guys. How's it going? <laughs> But like with a growl under that? Ah, uh, yeah, good night, guys. Yeah, I got you, but it's all the ramen right here. That's what he says. In that voice? Yeah, in that voice. His name is Grim Laser Bag. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody mark the time. It is 8.12 of the first Dragon Friends episode, and Ben Jenkins has run out of accents again. <laughs> He plays the theremin in a prog rock band. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> An NPC gets in. He says, uh, oh, who you, you, yeah, man. 
And then having his son... Simon, I have to give Ben a lot of notes for this. You can't, you can't just throw him under the bus like that. That man has a stroke and he's carried away. Oi, 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 I'd like to, I'd like to win a motorbike. I'd like to win a motorbike for driving he's, and whatnot. He's, is he Welsh? Is he Northern? I think he might be Welsh. That's not Welsh. He's definitely not no, Welsh. No, he's a Northern. He's Northern. Yeah. I know where I'm from. That's like Somerset. And it's yeah, somewhere. He's, he's from Somerset. I'm from Somerset and I bloody love a motorbike. It, These are the two things I know about myself. In that, in that voice, can you say, Filge, you're a wizard now? Filge, you're a wizard now. And then from like somewhere inside in, in the building, you hear, yay! I want, okay, so I want you, look good. you guys have made your way into a small artisanal tailor um, who is, is a gnome who slaps his hands excitedly as you enter the store. Oh, well, 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 well. <laughs> Some customers <laughs> in this my shop. Yes. Filge walks out and the goes... The fuck is wrong with you, man? <laughs> no. I don't know. I mean, do a Ben. I like it. Keep this, going. This is like Filch goes into the costume shop. What was that? This is the, it's just the best opportunity for a racist Italian accent. <laughs> just. Oh my God! Can I have another go? <laughs> well, no, there's, there's but the remember, shop. there is a costume shop next door. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, and the tailor's like, um, I would say that there are some uh, fugitives on the run. I hate you. <laughs> And it occurs to me that uh, perhaps uh, the police would be interested in uh, information about such fugitives, but fugitives such as... uh, How does this guy say garage? (laughs) It takes 45 minutes. (laughs) (laughs) Meanwhile, um, you walk into a room where a man who does not look like he would do a racist Italian accent, an old kind grandfather of sorts, a man who, who understands that race is not the same thing as voice and that people are multifaceted, looks at you, but does not, as of yet, say anything. Does he say anything now? Not yet, not yet. He, he looks at you inquisitively. <laughs> For those listening on the podcast, Ben seems to be twiddling an invisible moustache. <laughs> um, I'm not looking at him, I just know that's what he's doing. <laughs> Is he now eating some imaginary spaghetti? I think he's kissing his fingers. <laughs> I believe he just kissed his fingers. Oh, the universal sign for that's a spicy meatball. <laughs> I'm going to bait him into talking me through the sign. Not bait, sorry, that's the wrong word. Um, what's the one? I, I, I struggle to work out, what, 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 are the, what are these costumes? Oh, well, it's so. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let me just begin by saying, uh, the Mamma Mia <laughs> is a thing I like to say every uh, five to ten minutes. <laughs> It's been so long since I've said Mamma Mia. <laughs> 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 I, I just, Dave, I want you to know if there's any option for us to take this character with us on our adventure, <laughs> I am bringing him along. Uh, Sebastian Bumblebee. <laughs> it's a wonderful choice. <laughs> Fuck, I'm going to Italy in like a month <laughs> and I'm going to be turned away at the door of Italy. It's the one, the boy. Let me through the door of Italy. <laughs> of course, be only one man. Your patron, your guide, your jailer, all rolled into one accent that is very offensive to Ben's wife and Ben's wife's family. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sour. And Mr. Sa- anyway, important thing. Uh, hey, how, how big mission go, yeah? And Hermione Ranger Danger pips up and she goes, that's right, by my calculations, because she speaks like that for some reason. No, she does. You've actually nailed how I tried to speak last week. <laughs> um, it would pro- um, if you could smash it, if you could hack the central core or otherwise bring the processors down, there would be a window of about 94 seconds. During that time, they wouldn't be able to track anyone's sins. You could get through just about any door in Freeside. So, thanks, Hermione. My first voice. <laughs> Very good. Do, 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 do. 
before, right next to the racist cartoon costume shop. And oh man, I listened to that back. <laughs> yeah. Fucking you hell. don't come across well. I <laughs> don't. I come across very poorly in that recording. Yeah, let's let's hope that character doesn't come back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Benny, couldn't you twiddle the to make it less racist? <laughs> couldn't you down the... Oh, I, yes, I could have. 